Today we celebrate All Saints of America. And in other words, it's the day of commemoration of all the local saints. Uh, if we were in Russia, it would be All Saints of Russia. If we were in Serbia, All Saints of Serbia, and so forth. And as we consider what it means we can, to continue from uh, from last week, you know, we we talked about what is what does it mean to be a saint? What is it? Um, what does it mean? What do we have to do? We have to be transformed by the by the grace of the Holy Spirit. We have to allow God to work in our life to transform us, to cleanse us, to purify us, to change our behavior, to change our attitude, to change our way of life, to change. Repentance in Christianity is about change. And the thing is, we often think that, oh, we can't change. But the reality is, we can. And what the church is calling us to is, is to, is to call us to change, a change that is not simply the result of our own will, which, so we can do that so far as our attitude, so we can do that with our behavior, whether we think we can or not. Um, we, can, we can do that in regards to, um, you know, the things of this earth. But there is a change and a transformation that God calls us to, which he gives to us which we have to open ourselves to and want to receive and accept as a gift from God. And that's the transformation of deification so that we become like him, that we become like Jesus when he comes again, radiant with the grace of the Holy Spirit, transcending time and space and matter and and all of these things of this world so that we can participate in the life of the kingdom. The point is we need to get out of the way. We need to get our egos out of the way. We need to get our selfishness out of the way. We need to get our self-centeredness and all of these things that that keep us um, uh, chained to worldliness, to chain to uh, to the brokenness of this world. When we... You know, we twice this morning already we have heard the Beatitudes from Matthew. This is a kind of a roadmap to sanctity. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And later on, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Do we embrace this? Do we really want this? And if we do, if we really want to attain to purity of heart, if we really want to attain to uh, uh, likeness to Christ, and if not only we ourselves personally, But our families, which are little churches, our community, which is a big church, and the church throughout the world. If we're going to live up to the teachings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, if we're going to allow ourselves to be transformed by the grace of the Holy Spirit, then we need to we need to transform our behavior and not just. Uh, live as if uh, Christianity was just something we do for a couple of hours Sunday morning where we uh, where we go to colorful quaint rituals you know with I have to say this morning a very good choir (laughs) Um, and you know and it's all nice and it's all pretty and it's all there to support us in our spiritual life we see all of these icons of, of people with halos. Do we see each other's halos? Do we treat each other in the way that Christ would have us treat one another? Do we allow ourselves 
to criticize and to gossip and to slander and to and to tear down and to and to uh, uh, disrespect and disregard those who love us. How often do we do that? Do we allow ourselves to do it, or do we do it just unconsciously? Do we do we sit around and you know with our friends or our family and you know and criticize? Well, did you see what she was wearing this morning, or what she wasn't wearing this morning? Oh no, she didn't have a she didn't have a headscarf. Oh, how can she be doing you know, and on and on and on? Or um, you know, who does he think he is? You know. What's he doing up there, you know? All this kind of harmful, sinful, and destructive criticism, which we do of one another. Oh, this one's an ecumenist. This one's a. This one must be a heretic. He's he's not as he's not as strict as I am. Or, on the other side, who, who do they think they are, you know, being, being so strict? This is not about strictness. This is about freedom. And who do they think they are, you know, all, all, all dressed up, you know, and, and so forth. It comes from both sides. And it's equally evil. It's equally harmful. And if we're and if we're going to create a community, and if in our families we create a community, because a family, of course, is a community, where we allow ourselves to tear each other apart, what are we doing? We're Christian in name only. In name only. And so our task is this in, inner transformation blessed are the pure in heart what does that mean and is this not an incredible challenge to us to be pure in heart it means that not only do we need to get rid of all of the criticism and and uh, slander and so forth of other people from our mouths we need to we need to cleanse our minds and cleanse our hearts of it so that we don't even allow the thoughts to enter in because quite frankly the transformation of our lives starts first and foremost with the ascetic discipline of cleansing our minds and cleansing our thoughts not allowing ourselves to it's not just allowing ourselves or not allowing ourselves to look at things that are pictures on the internet or um, or you know all sorts of other kind of nasty stories and and, and images and all of that kind of stuff. It's keeping our heart pure. Where we don't allow thoughts against other people. Where we don't allow anger, where we don't allow um, <clears throat> resentment, where we don't allow bitterness, where we don't allow the remembrance of wrongs to come in and to and to spoil that purity which God gives us so freely right what do you have when you come out of confession purity of mind right how can we maintain that all the time how can we maintain that purity of heart loving God loving our neighbor, loving our friends and our families, and loving our enemies. Because the real, the real criterion 
of our Christianity is not how much we love our friends and families and those who love us. It's, a, it's about how much do we love our neighbor? How do we love our neighbor who is angry and nasty and bitter and, and, um, and full of vituperation towards us? How do we love our enemies? I love that quote from St. Silouan. We love God to the degree that we love our enemies. We love God to the degree that we love the person we hate the most. We despise the most. That's how much we love God. And so we need to be very, very aware. Because so much, really so much of the practice of of orthodoxy is about being aware. It's about being aware of our thoughts. It's about being aware of our actions. It's about being aware of other people and their needs. And it's about being aware that we need to love them and we need to love God. It's about being aware of God and being aware of, of, of all of these things in life, which are means of actually growing in Christ. Spiritual life is a life of awareness. And all the disciplines of the church are all about that. We have to be aware uh, when we're fasting, right? We're, we're keeping, keeping we, we put our intention on, um, what, on what we eat and when and how much and all of that. That's being aware. We have to be aware when we turn on the computer so that we don't uh, fall into all sorts of uh, traps and scams and all other things. We have to be aware in our relationships with one another. And if we can do this, if we can take this challenge on ourselves to be aware that we need to, to spend our time with one another loving and caring and being kind to one another. Not criticizing, not being angry, not, uh, not denigrating and not, and not slandering, but loving one another, caring for one another and building one another up. Then our community our families, our church will be a place where people come and we can simply embrace them in love with pure hearts and pure minds and with joy. Seeing that we, we too are all following this path to repentance and that we too are following this way to transformation of our minds of our hearts, our souls, and our lives. Amen.